welcome my dear students so delay for uploading the videos because of some video quality problem so after solving the problem today we are going to start from our ncrt test book and from the chapter trigonometry the access 8.1 so here are a few questions i have solved how to solve this type of questions so and the rest question if any of you are having problem you can put the question number in the comment below and later i will solve and i will upload the videos thank you so let us start the video so now first question you see here it is given there is a triangle abc right angle in a triangle right angle at b and the side is given ab that is 24 and bc is given 7 centimeter now you have to determine some trigonometric ratios that one is that is sin a cos a sin c cos c okay now so you have to find what is sin a what is cos a now we don't know what is the angle here if we, we could know the value of angle then we could use our trigonometric ratios value which you have learned in second video now how to solve this type of questions here in this triangle you see since this is a right angle triangle and the sides are given a b is given and the, in the question is given it is right angle at b so b is 90 degree so opposite one will be hypotenuse okay so then this is given 27 this is sorry 24 this is 7 and this is 25 now with the help of pythagoras theorem solving with the help of Pythagoras theorem, we got the miss that is AC. AC is equal to 25. I think it is clear. Now we need to find sine A. Let us come to the diagram sine A. And you know the sine, the ratio of sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse or opposite by hypotenuse. I have already given the sentence or the uh, way how you can learn to remember the what is the ratio of sine cos in this way now here s stands for sine o opposite the to the given angle h hypotenuse c cos a adjacent side that is adjacent to the given angle hypotenuse 10 opposite side and adjacent to the side again opposite side is also known as perpendicular and adjacent side is also known as base in some problem i will write perpendicular and base so you know perpendicular opposite and base will be adjacent let's start as sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular means here so we are taking angle a so opposite one is seven centimeter okay so seven then hypotenuse 25 so the ratio of sine a is seven by 25 similarly cos ratio of cos is base by hypotenuse so base here is the this is the adjacent to the given angle this is the angle given a and this is adjacent so base is 24 so 24 by 5 in this way if you find sin c again sin means perpendicular by hypotenuse now here if you see the diagram if you take sin c the opposite side will be b a remember that this is the now in the second question here in this question sin c this is the angle opposite side will be which one this one so this one is opposite side which is also perpendicular if we are taking angle c so sin c b by a that is 24 by 25 now this cos c you find yourself and check your understanding okay next one next question you have if sin a is given 3 by 4 it is the the value of sin a is given the the ratio of sin a is given 3 by 4 now you have to calculate what will be the cos a and tan a now see uh, sin a let us say that let us consider triangle abc so we have taken a triangle abc where b is 90 degree okay since here see here sin a is given so a we cannot take 90 okay in such type of questions so in such type because ratio is given 3 by 4 in such type of, in such type of questions a cannot be 90 so i have considered let's say b 90 this is right angle triangle now let us solve in this way okay again one more student one sorry one more thing is 
you remember my dear students so when you draw the diagram always draw in the right side not in the left side okay clear now sin a is given the ratio 3 by 4 now you know sin a so this is a sin a and if you remember uh, technique to learn what is the ratio of sin a that is uh, s o h okay or some people have remember so sin that is opposite by hypotenuse again i said opposite means perpendicular so perpendicular by hypotenuse now see this is the lowest this is a, uh, in the fraction form that means what the value of p it will be multiple of 3 sorry multiple of uh, value of p will be the sum factors if you multiply 3 which will give the value of p and also value of h will be some multiple so some factors if you multiply 4 it will be the value of h so we will write in this way let us say there is some natural number and it is k for which the p will be twice k and h will be 4k now what we are missing is the base so we need to find base and with the help of Pythagoras theorem I think it is clear you can find easily base and base base is 7 is base is 7 k okay here see base is 7 k square base is 7 k square now what if we need to find we need to find what is cos a again cos a means what so ka so ka toa which was a key uh, ways we are trying to remember the ratios so ka toa so so it's oh, so this is sine opposite and hypotenuse ka that is uh, cos adjacent and hypotenuse so ka toa so and what i said a means here a means base so base by hypotenuse now if you see what is the base here root 7k so root 7k and hypotenuse 4k so after simplifying the ratio of cos a means root 7 by 4 and similarly you find what is 10a clear next next let us learn how to solve this type of questions again similar here is given 3 cot a is equal to 4 now you have to find you have to say that this statement and this statement are equal or not for that similarly we will take a right angle triangle here also since angle a is given here cot a is given some ratio we can convert this into a ratio so we'll take b or c any one you can take a right angle okay so i have considered here b as right angle then this expression you can change in this way so cot a can be written in this form 4 by 3 similarly cot means what see 10 10 means opposite by adjacent cot means what reciprocal of 10 so it will be adjacent by opposite okay again adjacent means base and opposite means perpendicular so base by perpendicular which is so again for some values uh, the value of base will be what 4k and value of p will be 3k so same thing here it is written that p b is equal to 4k and p equal to 3k for some natural number k okay and solving you find hypotenuse with the help of pythagoras theorem if you solve you will get hypotenuse 5k now we need to prove this statement these two statements are equal so what we need 10a we need cos a we need and sin a we need so 10a with the help of this 10 means opposite by base sorry opposite by adjacent that is perpendicular by base cos means what base by hypotenuse base by hypotenuse sine uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular by hypotenuse and if you put the respective values these are the respective ratios of 10a cos a and sine a now you put in lhs the value of 10 uh, and in rhs cos and sine simplify so let's see what you get so after simplifying what we got is lhs this is the value so now again student remember so when you write whole square okay so don't write in this way so this is wrong way of writing so this is always equal to 10 square a 
also note keep in this mind also note that 10 square a is not equal to 10 a square is this clear okay so this to note you keep in your mind let's start now so put the value of 10 so what is the value of 10 we have found that is 3 by 4 now this square means see 10 square a means what 10 a whole square so that means the 10 a whole square 10 means 3 by 4 whole square similarly 3 by 4 and after simplifying you got 7 by 25 similarly cos square a means what cos cos a whole square that is fill of cos if you turn the page and see it is what is the value 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 whole square similarly sine a means 3 by 5 so square so all square simplifies it both answers are matching 7 by 25 so which is equal to LHS and RHS verified in this way you try to solve the exercise 8.1 and any doubt you can ask okay so thank you my dear students I I hope you like the video and I hope you like the video and you like and subscribe the channel thank you